prayer session. He's the man of God and is my man. <laughs> Hallelujah. And and be careful. He told me we are praying one hour. And he woke up one time and told me we are going to pray from midnight up to four. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we made it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so you better be serious when he's praying. He can take you. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, allow me together with me to welcome our man of God to take us in another session of the word. Thank you, Mrs. Tim too. Praise the
Espírita, Imperitaria de Enjoy the next session. Hallelujah. Today I want us to talk about the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. We are going to talk about the person of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The person of the Holy Spirit. It's the message title of the day. Hallelujah. The person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Pastors have one challenge. They don't meet their students every day. I wish church would be like school. Praise the Lord. But it is impossible because of uh, the cares of this world and Caesar's demands, uh, people end up not attending church every day. Praise the Lord. But the ideal men would ought to attend church every day. Just like they see the Muslims attend prayer every day. And five times, right? Seven or five a day. So Christians are supposed to be in church every day. Praise the Lord. I would have, re I would have had I receive. Praise the Lord. So, unless the Holy Spirit helps a pastor to preach once a week, he might fail to feed the flock. Because uh, imagine getting something that will make everyone understand. Different people on different levels of spiritual growth, levels of physical growth. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And we are speaking to everyone. But the Spirit of God ministers to everyone as someone ministers from the pulpit. So the work of ministration is for the spirit of God. Praise the Lord. He makes everyone understand according to their level of, uh, of growth. So at the end of the service, everyone has benefited. That is the role of the spirit. He makes us understand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The person of the Holy Spirit There's too much talk about the Holy Spirit at the end of the year or at the end of our lives we shall have known who the Holy Spirit is. It's a gradual process to understand God. Praise the Lord. None of the ways to understand God is to understand the Holy Spirit because he was or he is the comforter whom Jesus left with us. So in other words, so one of the ways to understand God is to understand the Holy Spirit. You have not understood God. 
You cannot understand God until you understand the Holy Spirit. You, you only walk with God by walking with the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. You, have not you, have not, you are not a friend to God until you are a friend to the Holy Spirit. I am a friend of God. Praise the Lord. It's good to prophesy it through praise. And then you, you eventually you walk in it. Praise the Lord. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Remember those campus days? That was one of our anthems. Praise the Lord. Oh, it's true that you are mindful of me. That you in me. When I go. Praise the Lord. Please don't tempt me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This music instrumentalist can tempt preachers. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit. Today we're talking about the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a dove. When you see a logo of a ministry showing the dove, that's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't look like that. Praise the Lord. See the, the, the dove, even on TV station, the dove. That's okay because the dove is talked about in the scriptures. Praise the Lord. So before you know, some, before you know something, you have to know what it is not. To help you what it is. To help you to know what it is. So the Holy Spirit is not a dove. That's Matthew chapter number. Uh, Matthew chapter number 3. Uh, verse uh, 16. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is not a dove. Matthew 3.16. Praise the Lord. It says, and Jesus, KJV, and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, lighting upon him, descending like a dove. Descending like a dove. You right? If I say you run like a dog, are you a dog? Praise the Lord. Or jump like a flog? Does it mean you're a flog? So the Holy Ghost is not a dove. He just descended like a dove. Praise the Lord. And lighting upon him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we are created in the image and the likeness of God. So, if man was created in the image and the likeness of God, and then the one who made him is saying, let us create man. That was God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost creating you in his likeness and, the, and his image. That means the Holy Ghost cannot be in a form of a dove, not even in a form. Not even in a form. They would have said, and the Holy Ghost descended in the form, even if it is a form. But like, can you imagine? Praise the Lord. You know you can fly. Have you, have, have you had these dreams when you're flying in the air? Praise the Lord. I've had dreams when I'm flying over the buildings and man, they are wonderful. Some of you, oh, I like those dreams. Kalaiman, they like a style. Somehow they told me that those dreams mean something else, but I was so young in God, but I refused. I tell you. They used to tell, me, they used to tell us when you dream, you know, flying. Praise the Lord. Somehow I refused intentionally. I said, you cannot fly and escape from your enemies. And that's a a demon, a 
And it was. You understand? Some in my knowing, I said, this is not true. This is not true. No wonder I enjoyed a lot of such dreams. They eventually come occasionally. Praise the Lord. You know, oh, my. You, you <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How about the scripture we say that you shall mount on wings like eagles? That's the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is not a dove. He descended like a dove. So, so it is the way he descended. The way. The way he descended. Praise the Lord. So the spirit does not look like a dove. He looks like you. Say amen. The Holy Spirit looks like you. Hallelujah. Remember, you are created in his image and his likeness. So the Holy Spirit looks like you. Praise the Lord. Say, I look like the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. The Spirit, too, the Spirit of God is not the least among the three, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. He's not the least because he's the third mentioned. Praise the Lord. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He's, very impo he's as important as the two. Praise the Lord. Number three, the Holy Spirit is not a wind. He's a person. Though he's not a fire, but he's fire. Praise the Lord. It's only that they gave the Holy Spirit the word pneuma, which means wind. Pneuma. Air. Scientists, you know the word pneuma. Which uh, I don't know why they call it pneuma and then pneumonia is pneumonia, not pneumonia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are a lot of scientific words with the word pneuma. We just go and study about the, the air system, the respiratory system. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is not a wind, or is not wind, is not air. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is like you. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is like you. So the Holy Spirit is like me. That's what I want to emphasize today. That's why the sermon is called the person of the Holy Spirit. The person of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, you have a mind, right? The Holy Spirit has a mind. Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter number 8. We're going to be faster. These days I'm learning to be brief. And yet, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm making people understand. Praise the Lord. Romans chapter number 8, verse 27. 8.27 Romans 8.27 Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit has a mind. So in other words, the Holy Spirit can, can live independently of the Father and the Son. So the Holy Spirit has a mind. The Holy Spirit has a mind. And he that searches the hearts knoweth 
what is in the mind of the spirit. The mind of the spirit. The mind of the spirit. The Holy Spirit has a mind. The Holy Spirit has a mind. So it is possible to know the mind of the spirit, right? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit has a will. You know, the, the mind of the Spirit is the mind of Jesus and it's the mind of the Father. They are all one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember, it talks of uh, who can know the mind of God except who can, someone help me. Who can instruct God? Who, who, ha, who knows the mind of God that he might instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. That means Christ, the same way Christ has the mind, the spirit has the mind. But remember, we have the mind of Christ. That means we have the mind of the spirit. Praise the Lord. And the spirit speaks that which he hears from the Father. From the Father's mind. So they have the same mind. But the, the Spirit can be independ is independent of the Son and the Father. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit has the mind. However, okay, let's go. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit has a, a will. The Holy Spirit has a will. So we are, this, we are giving reasons why the Holy Spirit is like you. So those attributes of you having a mind, they are not actually human attributes. They are spirit attributes. Praise the Lord. Having a will is not only a human attribute. It's a godly or spirit attribute because if it was not, then he would not have such attributes also. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit has a will. Uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, verse 11. The Holy Spirit has a will. Take your, take my will, conform me to your, to your, oh Lord. That means he has a will. Take my mind, and transform me. Take my will, conform me to yours to yours oh lord hallelujah the holy spirit has a will first corinthians chapter number 12 verse 11 but all these first corinthians first corinthians chapter number 12 verse 11 But all this worketh that mm, but all this these worketh that one wow, please forgive me and the self same spirit dividing every man severally as he wills. Let's use the the, the amplified version. The amplified amplified version has as he chooses. So that's a will. A, a will chooses, right? Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit has a will. God created us in his image and his likeness. So if we have a will, the Holy Spirit has a will. These are more of human attributes or man attributes, but they are godly attributes. Hallelujah.
So he gives us the gifts, the talents, the abilities, the temperaments, whatever we have that is unique. The spirit willed and he gave us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we should appreciate whatever he chose. I don't think there is anyone who is wiser than the spirit. So you are not wiser than him to make you the way he made you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You might actually even have made mistakes. Or your parents have made mistakes. But now that you have known him. Pastor Chris says you are accountable for t- from today onwards. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You are accountable from today onwards. Hallelujah. And sometimes even born again Christian wonder why wasn't I born in Kampala? Yet we have guys from Jitez. Praise the Lord. Little do, don't you know that the land rejects prophets except those from Jitez. <laughs> That's why people come from Bukomasim and they own Kampala. And the landlords in People come from Kanungu and they own Kampala. And the landlords of Kampala. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are guys who, who always see President M7 going to fly. I'm talking about the Enox. All the days of their life, they have seen a guy move that side. Hallelujah. For you, the land will not reject you. You will be respected by your land. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, there's a reason why you are born the way you are born. Where you come from. Praise the Lord. Do you know a prostitute is supposed to reach out to the same? A, f- a former Pharaoh is supposed to reach out to Pharaoh. That's Moses. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Holy Spirit has a will. So he wills, he gives us gifts and abilities and talents as he wills, as he chooses. So he also gave us a will to choose. He says life and death are put before you, but choose life. Choose life. Choose life. So the Holy Spirit has a will. The Holy Spirit speaks. Acts chapter number 8, verse 29. The Holy Spirit speaks. Let's use uh, KJV. Acts chapter 8, verse 29. The Holy Spirit speaks. Praise the Lord. That means if the Holy Spirit speaks, I will never be out of his guidance. Hallelujah. If the Holy Spirit speaks, you always know his mind. You always know his will. Because he speaks like you. If you make him your friend, he will speak to you always. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 8, verse 29. The Holy Spirit speaks. Then the Spirit said unto Philip, Go, the Spirit said. Hallelujah. Philip wasn't a prophet. We named him Evangelist Philip. He was just a normal Christian reaching out to the lost. The titles are just for protocol and order. 
praise the Lord. But every child of God is sent to the lost as an apostle, as a bishop, as whatever you can call. You can call yourself Pope. It's okay. As long as you win them to Christ. Praise the Lord. Man, it comes out Pope Maxwell. <laughs> Hallelujah. It sounds American, eh? It sounds American. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit, 29. And then the Spirit said unto Philip, not Jesus, not the Father, but the Spirit, go near and join thyself to, the, to this chariot. Praise the Lord. The Spirit spoke. Hallelujah. May this be your experience in Jesus' name. The Spirit will speak to you. Join this business. Join this group of people. Join. Praise the Lord. The Spirit speaks. The person of the Holy Spirit. John chapter number 16. John chapter number 16. Verse 13. Verse 13. How bait when he the spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. The spirit speaks. He shall not speak of himself. But he shall speak. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. He will show you the things to come. The point here, the Spirit of God speaks. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of God speaks. Some people say God, that the era of prophets stopped, ended. That's true and that's wrong. Now he has spoken to us through his dear son. But then his dear son left us with another comforter in his stead. So he speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. How does he reveal his son to us? He, the Spirit reveals the son to us. Actually, that's the importance of the Spirit. To reveal the son to the church. The importance, the, the role of Jesus is to reveal the father to humanity. Then the Spirit reveals the son to us. Praise the Lord. No one had ever seen God until God came in the flesh of Jesus. Praise the Lord. No one had ever seen Jesus until the Spirit opened the eyes of many. Now we know him. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit speaks. The Holy Spirit speaks. I cannot walk with someone who speaks and I don't hear him. He's very talkative. If you don't hear him, check your ears. He's not a, fla a, a flag. Flag, you know flags? They don't talk. Praise the Lord. They don't talk. How many temperaments do we have? Those temperaments are attributes of the Spirit, timely. If you're talkative, the Holy Spirit can be talkative. If you're quiet, the Holy Spirit can be quiet. So you, you're not supposed to be quiet, you're not supposed to be talkative. You're not supposed to be in the middle, you're supposed to be anything, anytime. If you get married, learn how to be quiet. If you get married, learn how to talk. Praise the Lord. Don't say for us, we, our side, we don't talk. Your canon in the flesh. Our side, we talk. We don't keep quiet. Your canon in the flesh. 
Praise the Lord. So you should talk by the Spirit. You should speak what you hear the Spirit say. Just the same way he speaks what he hears the Father say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Spirit speaks. May the Holy Ghost speak to you all the days of your life. Revelation chapter number 2 verse 7. The Spirit speaks. If you know that the Spirit speaks, you will hear him. Hallelujah. To them whom by the patient continuance in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality and eternal life. Hmm. I'm in Romans. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter number 2 verse 7. The Spirit speaks. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. So when the Spirit says, he is speaking. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Holy Spirit speak to you concerning your life. Hallelujah. Number four, the Holy Spirit has intelligence. Mbega. He knows things and spies. Hallelujah. It's not your government that has, it's not only FBI. It's not you who is only wise. Eh? You, you speak some words to, to spy on someone's mind. No, I spoke like this and he said this. He didn't understand what I meant. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You are not wiser than the Holy Spirit. You are as wise as him. Praise the Lord. But not wiser than him. So the Holy Spirit is, has intelligence. He's intelligent. So FBI of the heavenlies, the Holy Ghost. Acts 16 Acts 16, verse, uh, verse 6. Acts 16, verse 6. And now when they had, now when they had gone throughout um, that very word, it sounds like a, a respiratory word, pharyngeal, hallelujah. You see that word? Praise the Lord. That one. And when they had gone throughout that city and in the region of Galatia and, uh, and were forbidden of the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia, they were forbidden of the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. He speaks. He sensed something and the Holy Ghost forbade them. You understand? Praise the Lord. Just like the way that the Spirit there's a time Elijah could spy into the camp of the enemy and then, then tells his king and then the, the enemy's king, the, the enemy's camp, the king of the enemy Wondered, he started you know, interrogating the guys in his camp that we, sh we, we must be having spies here. Who informs the king of the Jews what is in our camp? And then someone told them, someone in the camp and said, There is a man of God. Praise the Lord. So the Holy Spirit has intelligence. Praise the Lord. You speak it nowadays and they get you. 
Chiboko. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. His uh, thing was the chariot and horseman of Israel. You have to go into that realm. Uh, if you, if you, <laughs> praise the Lord. Have you ever been attacked by a full army and you blind them and you lead them to your king's camp? And then you open their eyes and they, by the time they realize they're in the, then you do nothing to them and you send them back. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Someone challenge, someone provokes us. He says, you think you know the message of grace. You despise that you're better than Elijah. Have you, have you done one thing of Elijah did? Have you ever... <laughs> I mean, none born of a woman is greater than John the Baptist before. But the least among us is greater than him. But none of us has branded the arm of UPDF. A traffic guy stops you. Instead of blinding the guy's eyes, <laughs> you're quarreling. I find now we're back. You understand? Think about it. Oh, Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. God is going to take us back to those days. Hallelujah. How can a traffic guy stop you? On Sunday. And you don't have a permit. And you... That guy has to be blind to your car. Praise the Lord. Blind to your... Praise the Lord. So if you have not done anything that Elijah did, then you are not greater than John the Baptist. Hallelujah. Exactly. You have not known until you have manifested. Knowledge is practical. Knowledge is not theoretical. When the Europeans wanted to destroy our knowledge, they gave us practical knowledge. People make sure they embezzle all the funds that leads to practicality of our education so that we can be beggars Can you imagine? Praise the Lord. The one who didn't go to school can repair a car. The one who didn't go to school cannot. I mean, the one who went and studied it cannot. The one who didn't go does. Someone say amen. Praise the Lord. It was just an example. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the one who didn't go to school can inject an animal. Let me crucify myself. <laughs> the one who went for it is not a practitioner for the sake of the gospel. Not because of lack of funds for practical things. Hallelujah. So you have not yet known until you have manifested. That statement is big. That one. Hallelujah. Where are we? The Holy Spirit speaks, right? Oh, has intelligence. Hallelujah. He can warn you. He can. He told Paul. I think Paul was discouraged in a certain city in the book of Acts. He told him, stay in this city. There are people that I want. He was going to leave, right? Praise the Lord. So that means we have to make the Spirit of God our FBI. We cannot go astray. Hallelujah. Good company 
or bad company corrupts good morals. If the Holy Spirit is my company, <laughs> praise the Lord. I can witness about the intelligence. It's a good thing. This part of intelligence you can actually commune with the spirit that your meditations are, are signals of the spirit. They are natural. 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 Just natural. Praise the Lord. They are just natural. Hallelujah. You just make the Holy Ghost your companion. Just believe. You'll be shocked. Before I got born again, there are things of tradition I used to believe in. When a visitor is going to come, a bee moves around. Somehow, I saw the thing. Nowadays, doesn't work to me. Even if that becomes. <laughs> Those days, I tell you the truth. A bee shows up, a unique visitor will show up. You go, you, you guys, you don't know the village. First week, someone tested the village. Somehow. You're walking to school, and the rat crosses to the left. Hey, canes. They will beat you. Praise the Lord. You know, what empowered such incidences was faith. Not the rat. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you better believe in the Holy Spirit. So what gives room for the, for the Spirit to have access in our lives is faith in his abilities. Imagine knowing God, the Spirit of God speaks. He speaks. He's the one who searches the mind of God and delivers this to us. That alone his meditations become your meditations. Praise the Lord. His conversations become your conversations because he speaks. So he puts a lot of words on your tongue. And it becomes as a, your tongue becomes that of a red writer. You speak words in season. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit sees. That means he has eyes. Remember the Holy Spirit looks like you. He looks like you or you look like the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. First Corinthians chapter number 2. First Corinthians chapter number two, verse ten. But God has revealed First Corinthians chapter number two, verse ten. But God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. You can't search something when you're blind. We search by our eyes. Praise the Lord. Even when I'm to search you, I have to use my eyes. To, if, I'm, if I'm to search your heart, I use the eyes of my spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, for he, for the spirit searches all things. Yea, the deep things of God. Imagine, he searches things. And then, 
by reason of the things he searches, the deep things of God, he carries on the same mind. The same mind controls the same will. And then he delivers those very things he searches unto us. Praise the Lord. That's the role of the Holy Spirit. Imagine how you can mess up. You, if you're in a business world, you always trade in a certain commodity in the right time. You always do things in the right time because the Spirit of God searches. He sees. He has intelligence. And then he tells you. You reach a time when you, you just know what you think is what the Spirit is thinking. Praise the Lord. You, know, you don't need to <laughs> hallelujah. The Holy Spirit sees, he searches the deep things of God. He searches them out. Look at the eyes. So how can you fail to make this one your friend? The one who searches out all things. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit has emotions. It should be my last attribute, reason. We are giving reasons for why the Spirit is a person. So hence the sermon title, the person of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has emotions. Why? Because he can be grieved. He can be vexed. He can be quenched. He can be pleased. Praise the Lord. So that means he has emotions. Mm -hmm. Now, Papa, that means I defend my being grieved. Hallelujah. You have to be grieved in a Holy Ghost way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can be carnally grieved. Just like Paul, Paul I mean, Jesus wept. So his kind of tears were different. Is it Judith Rabbi who sang a song that I no longer cry tears of sorrow, but I cry tears of joy? So it matters which kind of tears. And uh, you better be careful when you're talking, you have to use your heart. You better be careful what makes men laugh. You know you can laugh and laugh differently. You can laugh at my statement and everyone laughs at it differently. But I say men laugh. You understand? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know you can you can when you go to when you find a mature person and tell them some conversations and they see where you've reached, a mature person will, will say, "Wow, that's good, that's wonderful, good." But what you are telling them has a lot of errors in it. But they know you're young; they are trying to encourage you. You understand? The Holy Ghost, our comfort, our encourager. Praise the Lord. So, the grieving matters. How? What? Why are you being grieved? Why are you being troubled? What, what is trouble? What makes you troubled? You understand? So, the Holy Ghost gets grieved. So, how does the Holy Ghost get grieved? That is being wounded emotionally. You know, the scripture tells us, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. That means he can be emotionally wounded. Ephesians chapter number 4 verse 30. Praise the Lord. I used to fear that scripture. 
Because men used to speak that scripture to us where men under the law. And you see the spirit you grieved coming with a panga. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I hated that scripture. Some of you here, you have grieved the Holy Ghost. The spirit of God is angry at you. Praise the Lord. And you feel like you want to go 30 days of dry fast for the spirit of God to be pleased with you. That's not the Holy Ghost. And to make matters worse, this grieving was eternal judgment. And it's just know you might go to hell. They used to attach his grieving to eternal judgment and eternal destiny of our souls. That was error. We are sealed with the same spirit as a mark that we've been booked by God. That on that last day, he will come and pick those with a seal. You understand? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just like the way the spies went back and found a ribbon in the window of Rahab, the prostitute. So he's, she's the only one they saved because they could not remember the house. They could, not, they could only remember it by a ribbon. So that we've been sealed with the Holy Spirit. Eternal judgment concerning eternal destiny has nothing to do with us. We are eternally saved. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter number Ephesians chapter number do not grieve the Holy Ghost. You know when we are preaching the message we mix we mix uh, uh, we mix the manifestation we mix, we mix the fulfillment of purpose and then eternal salvation you know you can grieve the Holy Spirit concerning eternal purpose But I don't think you can grieve the Holy Spirit concerning eternal destiny. You can grieve the Holy Spirit uh, concerning eternal position. You know in heaven you're not going to be in one place. You can't eat chips and chicken all through and you think you've been near Pastor Benny. I mean, you can't be near Pastor Kayanja. You, you how? You praise the Lord. You, you, you wait, you might wash their utensils. <laughs> you know you can be a houseboy in, 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 in heaven. Yeah, you can ask, uh, is it the poor man? Is it who? Lazarus. He was in Ab Abraham's bosom. He had no place to stay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can be in Hades and get the audacity to command a poor man in heaven. Tell that rich young man, that poor man, to go and tell my people, not Abraham, please go. Abraham was so loaded to be commanded by a rich man in hell. The guy found a poor person in heaven. Say, go. Imagine. Praise the Lord. These are serious matters. Eh? Praise the Lord. Imagine Sundays when you want to rest and you think you can never be close to Pastor Kayanja. Sundays. That guy doesn't rest seven days. For you, the only day you're supposed to go to church, you want to mock bed cover. Praise the Lord. Just one and just four. Just half a day. Including that, that the hours you move towards and from. Praise the Lord. And you also want to be rewarded the same way Pastor Kanja is rewarded. Do you think God is, 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 is so do not grieve the Holy Spirit. So you can grieve the Holy Spirit concerning your eternal purpose. You're supposed to pray 
you know it and you don't pray. He feels sorry for you. And you know, he doesn't, he doesn't impose himself to us. You understand? You grieve him. He doesn't go away. He just let, leaves you with Concerning that matter, he leaves you. He doesn't instruct you more. But remember, he stays in you. So that's why people used to confuse that the spirit can leave you. He doesn't leave you. Concerning that matter. Praise the Lord. Concerning that matter. So if he tells you, pray. He wants you to stay. He has, he has gotten some intelligence. He has seen something ahead. Wake up and pray. Or give that seed. Or meet this person. You know? And then, praise the Lord. You grieve the spirit. So he, they just get troubled. I mean, he just gets troubled. When you walk with God, you discover you cannot save men. Except, you see, I have just learned, you see what I'm sharing? The only prayer I can make, a pastor can make, is for the Holy Spirit to make his audience understand. That's why Paul says, I, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace which is able to build you up. Otherwise, for me, I have gone. You understand? So the Holy Spirit is, is the person God left with us. So the Holy Spirit has emotions. He can be grieved. Ephesians chapter number 4. Praise the Lord. Man, I used to fear that but preaching the gospel when you don't know the mystery of eternal redemption you can confuse scriptures up. I mean a pastor says I don't want to go to hell because I refuse to tell you something. You understand? Like, if I refuse to tell you the prophetic word, I can go to hell. Because your blood will be on me. No. It depends. If you're not willing to listen, I can't tell it to you. If God cannot impose himself to you, who is me, your pastor? You think that can take me to hell? That means God has to go there first. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You understand? Who is me, your pastor? God himself, he says, do this. If you don't do, he leaves you. Now, who is me, your pastor? I'll have to tell everyone, God was telling me, you are, you, you're denying me. No, 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 it was a misunderstanding of the word. So you couldn't interpret the convictions of the spirit. Praise the Lord. God gave me a word and, and I went to this brother. Man, you better go wisely. First of all, you're not their pastor. You're not their parent. Who, you, let me tell you one thing. You can only change. Please go, take my statement. You can only change a brother by loving them and respecting them as brothers. But the moment you become their mentor, they run away from you. Praise the life coach. Praise the Lord. Marriage coach is there. Please consult him. Praise the Lord. I hope he doesn't impose himself to you guys. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, he can be grieved. Ephesians chapter number 4 verse uh, 30. Praise the Lord. Uh, 
Today is such a unique day concerning the ministry. I don't know why. Praise the Lord. It marks the beginning of something concerning ministry. Hallelujah. Uh, verse 30, it says, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. You see, the portion of eternal redemption is the part B. Whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. So the Spirit, God sealed us with his spirit. Fragizod marked us out. Remember? Praise the Lord. He marked us out. Like the way he put the blood on every doorpost of every Jew. So when destruction comes, that, re it, that redemption is not cut us of whether we are not angry with our spouses within those rooms. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oh, we are not angry to our neighbors who are also in the next room with the blood. So that redemption is cut us of the blood. So the redemption on that last day is by reason of the, the spirit of God which he has been, we have been sealed with. And he says, I will send you another comforter who will abide with you forever. So the sealing is eternal. Praise the Lord. However, we are talking about now walk, walking with God. You know, he says, everyone that is born again is always in the spirit. But the Bible tells us to walk To walk in the spirit, right? Yes. There's being in the spirit and to walk in the spirit. Now the walking in the spirit is where we grieve the spirit by which we were sealed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I discovered people have to understand these two things at once. Otherwise it makes people stay in one place for some time. Hallelujah. So he can be grieved. Hebrews 3.10, Isaiah 63.10. Hebrews 3.10, Isaiah 63.10. It talks of um, how our forefathers, the descendants of Abraham, grieved the spirit in the desert. It's only those... You know Moses did not enter the promised land. But he was buried in a... God is the one who buried him. So concerning the promised land, he grieved him. So that is walking with, the, with God. Praise the Lord. I pray you don't grieve the Holy Spirit. That even when you enter you identify the mistake immediately and rectify it. God is the God of many chances. Hallelujah. When you walk with God, you discover how carnal men are. And they are lost and they don't know. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ben, I've seen him many times when he's in the meeting and someone is walking away. Oh, he warns people before. At this time, no moving, no walking, nothing. He just wants, he has sensed an atmosphere of the manifestation of the miraculous. So, if he doesn't warn you, you will grieve the spirit. How? he will feel sorry that you don't understand what is happening. And you will miss out. Praise the Lord. And you will miss out. That's grieving. So that's not being under the law. Let me tell you, when you are under grace, you are under the extreme law. There is no greater law than the grace of God. The grace of God raises bond servants. 
slaves unto righteousness. The law of Moses raises rebels against God. Praise the Lord. And, and people who teach the law, I, I don't know why they don't understand. You cannot teach God well until you have understood what Jesus accomplished for us concerning eternal salvation, especially eternal redemption. And what we have become and the extent of what we have become. It is from there. No wonder Apostle Paul said, I've laid a foundation. Everyone had come, let you know, build wisely. So, Apostle Paul only what he wrote in scriptures were, was a language for babes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If there are recordings of Apostle Paul, we would have ignored the, the foundations in scriptures and confused them up. No wonder he goes somewhere and he says, I know of a man who went into the third heavens and he saw things. Have you ever been beaten until the mob discovers that you're dead and then the following day you're in the next city preaching? Which kind of life do you have? And you, and you don't see any scripture teaching how to live immortal life. All that you hear are the righteousness of God. So many things Apostle Paul didn't write. Praise the Lord. For you just hit yourself like this and you get a wound. You don't come to church. Praise the Lord. Apostle Paul is beaten until the guys who beat him know that he's dead. And then he resurrects. It's not written that he resurrected. He re the mere fact that they knew he's dead, he was dead. You know, many times that guy got shipwrecked. Now he's the only savior in that ship. You know that story. The spirit has told me they're not going to have any issue. He's in the in the ship with the rest. He's telling them, guys, we are we are saved. Praise the Lord. For your car is normal, nothing is wrong with it. Your mind after kicks starting it. Won't I know? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The guy is in the, in the middle of chaos. He's sure. So such, such a life is not written in scriptures explaining how to live an immortal life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then I discovered how Apostle Paul did not bow to governments. If Apostle Paul bowed down to governments, he wouldn't have been imprisoned one single moment. These are wisdoms that are not written in scripture, but you can learn. God can open your eyes to see. Watchman Nee was in prison. He wrote all his books in prison. Praise the Lord. Apostle Paul, if that guy gave bribe in government, he wouldn't have been imprisoned. I, I, I hope you, those who have here, let them hear. Are you guys getting me? If that guy gave bride, he wouldn't have been imprisoned. Imagine they find you preaching the gospel. They, they say you're shouting to people and they take you to prison cells. And then you tell a fande, fande, fande now, I'm for you. You see, it's that's as simple as that. When you become big, you'll do the same. And the system will victimize you. I'm preparing men of God. You rather go in prison. A 
Holy Spirit has intelligence. Let's give in the house of God as we, as we praise the Lord. How did I go there? Apostle Paul, eh? Hallelujah. Our seeds are blessed. They speak better words. 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 They speak on our behalf. I provoke every seed that has ever been sown in kingly life by anyone in the name of Jesus. I provoke it. I provoke them to produce in season and out of season. In famine, you are harvesting. In rain season, you are harvesting. In season and out of season, may the seeds ever be sown in this ministry. Produce such an experience like a tree planted on the riverside bearing fruit in season and out of season in Jesus' name. As we give in, let's, 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 let's just speak to the Holy Ghost. May the Spirit of the Living God speak to you. May the Spirit of the Living God reveal His mind to you. May the Spirit of God May the Spirit of God grant you, help you not to grieve Him. May you walk a life pleasing to Him. That you might not be like our forefathers who tempted God in the desert and they grieved His Spirit. Mm. Shile baga zukataya, maleka zukatele bradega zukataya. May the Spirit of the Living God guide you, lead you. Hmm. Shile lele baga zutai, zikate bradega zukatele manda, zikato bradega zukatele manda. May the Spirit of God guide you. May the Spirit of God lead you. May the Spirit of God make you. May the Spirit of God teach you. May the Spirit of God, may you know His mind. May you know His will concerning your life. May He speak to you. May His emotions be your emotions. May His feelings be His feelings. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We receive these things as in a figure. May you receive these teachings as in a figure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm a great city. I'm a, I'm a great city. I passed a thousand students. I passed a thousand churches. I passed a thousand cells. I passed a thousand districts. In the name of Jesus. I'm a nation within a nation. 
in the name of Jesus I give in a thousands of millions I give in a thousands of millions I give in a thousands of millions in the name of Jesus Thank you Lord Jesus Jesus is there. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Do we have a first time member today? Please come and say hi to us. Let's, let's make them feel welcome. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome. You can say hi to us. Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all now and forever. Amen and amen. Enjoy the quarter of power and the year of extraordinary changes, metamorphosis. God bless you. Keep raining and keep shining in Jesus' name.